some more examples here. This one, 8m plus 7n minus 3m minus 5a. Well, I see the 8m and the minus 3m. Those are both m terms, so those should be combined. The other terms are not m terms, so we can't combine these with the m's or with each other. So the only thing we can do here is combine the m terms. So 8m and minus 3m, that gives me a 5m. And then I still have the plus 7n and the minus 5a. So that's my answer, 5m plus 7n minus 5a. The next one, here's a 2x and a negative 6x. Those can be combined. 2 and negative 6, that gives me a negative 4. So I have negative 4x. And then I have the 3y and the minus y. Remember that minus y is a minus 1y. So 3y minus 1y gives me a positive 2y. So I have negative 4x plus 2y, and that's my answer. And if you want to, you could write it with the positive term first. When you have two terms like that, and one of them is negative, it's pretty common to see it written like this, the positive term first, 2y minus 4x. And that just avoids the leading negative sign right there. But either, either way here is fine. Those are mathematically equivalent. Now this one, 6a plus 7b plus 8a plus 3a plus 4b. Well, look at this, 3a terms. 6a, 8a, and 3a, those can all be combined into a single term. 6 and 8 is 14, so that's 14a plus the 3a. That gives me 17a. I've just taken all of those a terms that are underlined there, and I've combined them, 17a. Now I have the 7b and the 4b. Those combine to 11b. So my answer is 17a plus 11b. I've combined all the like terms. I combined all the a terms and all the b terms. Okay, let's look down here. Here's a 12x and there's a 5x. Okay, that's good. Those are like terms. And 12x and 5x give me 17x. And now here's a negative 3y and a 7y. Notice what I did. I underlined my y terms a little bit differently than I underlined my x terms. This is just a, a little trick I use to help visually keep track of which terms I have accounted for over here in my answer and which ones I haven't. So I've got my x terms over here, the 12x and the 5x. Those both show up in the 17x. So now let's do the negative 3y and the 7y. Negative 3 and 7 is positive 4. So negative 3y plus 7y, I'm sorry, yeah, negative 3y plus 7y gives me a positive 4y. And then I still have this 6z sitting there. There are no other z terms, so it can't be combined with anything. So I just leave it by itself. 17x plus 4y plus 6z, that's my answer. And this one, 6x squared y and then this 8xy, this has a different variable part because the x is squared here and it's not squared there. So the 6x squared y and the 8xy are not like terms. But this, the negative 3x squared y, here I have x squared y and there I have x squared y. So those are like terms, so those two terms can be combined. 6x squared y minus 3x squared y is positive 3 x squared y. And then I still have the plus 8xy right there. 3x squared y plus 8xy is my answer. 